I'm 15. Normally I can handle most problems by myself, but this time I really messed up. Two weeks ago on February 11th, I went to a party, flirted with this girl, and when the party died down, we went to her house and we ended up having sex. The next day, we didn't talk. I just left before her parents woke up. On Monday, I tell my friends about this girl and it turns out that she has a boyfriend. I even kind of know the boyfriend and he's a really nice guy. I told everyone I had already told not to spread it around and thought that was the end of my mistake. Yesterday, the girl calls me and tells me she's pregnant. She knows I'm the dad because she always uses some sort of protection with her boyfriend and we use none. This is the part where I need your help. She wants me to forget we ever had sex. She's going to tell her boyfriend of two years that the baby is his. Her parents are really religious and that abortion is not an option. Although I have no clue what to do, I feel like going along with this will fuck up her boyfriend. And I, I blanked out the name, his life. Giving him a child that's not his when he is the one using protection for sex. Also, I have two friends that know I had sex with this girl, and eventually they are going to figure it out. And who knows how long that they can keep quiet. I'm kind of okay with just going through with telling the truth, but I also feel like I should respect the girl's decision. You're the only person I know to go to. Even teen hotlines have given me broad, unclear answers. Please respond by tomorrow. I should make a decision soon. <laughs> this is a tough one. And, um... I, I, I don't know, I can't resist these teen pregnancy ones in, in hopes that somehow we can prevent some teen pregnancies for, with other people. Um, your girlfriend's going the wrong way. There's your clear, decisive answer. She's got this all wrong. First of all, I'm 7,000 years old, and I've yet to seen four people keep a secret, especially one as juicy as this. It's just, it's never going to happen, right? This is going to get out, and when it does, it's going to hurt a lot. Um, second... What she's doing here is kind of taking your kid from you. Now, you're 15 years old right now, and, you know, that might even seem like in some ways to be a bit of a relief. But at some point in your life, like if this were to hypothetically work, the 20-year-old or 25-year-old version of you is going to be like, man, that's my son. That's my son that was somewhat robbed of me. And... You know, I have a connection to that. Look, that guy looks like me. Look, that guy has interests like me. You know, I I played lacrosse in high school, and now look at him playing lacrosse in high school. I did this, now look at him doing that. You know, when he enters college, and, and you know, you're going to be like, wow, he chose the same major as me. Like, you know, the two of us are bonded in this way, and, and that entire, like, life I could have had with my son has been stolen from me. That's not right either. And then your son, for reasons I don't fully understand, kids have this attachment to their biological parents. Right? They're going to have an intense interest in you that's being robbed of him. This plan that she's coming up with, you know, not wanting to be busted, cheating on her boyfriend, is not thought through. You know, there's, there's, a, there's a human coming. And that human needs to be you know, raised in an environment of truth and trust. And, and that's where we are. There is no way that all those people are going to keep this secret. Heck, I'm not sure you're going to keep this a secret. You know, I, I think you want, you know, to be part of this whole thing that's going on. And, um, you know, th there we have it. So <sighs> sex without condoms leads to babies. You learned it here, guys. As far as what to do now, I, I think it's time to, you know, man up the best you can and, uh, you know, try and set this kid up for success because that's a parent's job. My name is blank. This is a girl's name. I have a question for your mail Monday. If it's all possible, I don't need to be featured, but a reply would be great. Before you get to my question, I'm going to fill you in on the details. I'm an upperclassman in high school, and I am a girl gamer. I have been for over 11 years. A couple ba years back, I met this amazing guy over Xbox Live, and surprisingly, we go to the same school, and we had several classes together without knowing. We eventually started dating, and we've been happy for almost a year. He's the reason that I know about you on YouTube. He watches you. That's why I blanked out her name. Well, I blank out all names. After we got to a certain point, we became sexually active, and since then, I feel more protective of him in a way. 
Not like crazy bitchy way like most guys think girls are, just a more, I don't even know how to describe it, just a subtle way. Anyway, I hate when other girls flirt with him knowing that he is with me in every way now for the most part. I don't see the point of it. I know he would never cheat and I don't know how to get past being jealous about these girls. I know I shouldn't be seeing as how I have a lot of guy friends, but I don't want to seem like a stuck up bitch that won't let him talk to other girls. I would like to know if you know how I should handle this situation. I'm sure that you I'm I'm sure that you know that women tend to think about things more than they should and just don't let something go. And I know I keep thinking about things I could lo- if I keep thinking about things like this I could lose him. Please help. You know, like I know people who are just wired differently on this topic, right? I'm closer to you. I have a friend who who by the way has a is a beautiful wife and he totally digs it when other people like make a move at her, right? He's confident that those two are a pair, that she's not a cheater, that everything is cool. But the fact that, you know, other guys are, I don't know what to say, thinking about her or like flirting at her or whatever makes him feel like she's more of a prized possession, right? That's just how he's wired. Like when other guys find her hot or, you know, drool over her or whatever, rather than getting like jealous and protective and start hugging on her and all this, he just sort of, you know, nods his head and he's like, yeah, mine's a hottie. That's, that's just the way that he's sort of put together. And then you got to have guys like me and you on the other side of the spectrum where it's like, whoa, 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 this one's mine. You know, you go find your own, you know, keep your hands away. Well, hands obviously, but you know, like keep your minds away. This is, uh, you know, this is, this is my house right here and, and you're not invited in. And, um, so, you know, while I hear you, I remember, um, Dan from painkiller already. If you guys, uh, probably half of you have no idea what I'm talking about, but, um, I had this friend, this friend was going through a divorce and we brought him into my house for like, I don't know, four, six months, something like that to help him get like back on his feet while he was, you know, having his own marriage trouble. And while he was staying here, not that I didn't trust either one of them, but I swear, like there was a part of me that just got a little more huggy, a little more possessive, a little more like, you know, like, look, you're a good friend and I love you, man. And everything is cool. But I don't know. I just felt like I was marking my territory uh, more frequently than I would uh, when, you know, we don't have other guys staying at my house. And so when I read your letter, I kind of related to it. Like, you know, I don't think you're being totally crazy. You're not being totally crazy until it becomes a problem that he has, right? You know, like, you know, my wife didn't mind the extra whatever kisses on her neck that I was giving her. Like, that wasn't a problem. Um, But if your boyfriend, if, if you're approaching him in an angry way, and saying, you know, like, why did you talk to her? What were you talking about? What were you doing? Then, you know, you're entering that bitches be crazy territory here. And and you just, you know, check yourself on that. And, you know, support your boyfriend, love your boyfriend, encourage your boyfriend to do better in life and, and you know, be the, a team that does better as a pair than you do individually. That's what a cool relationship is like. Not this, like accusatory thing that I fear you may have going on now. So, so that's, that's how you handle jealousy, right? You know, it's not so bad to, uh, you know, walk up and put your arm around his hip and, and just like show a display of affection slash possession like that to me doesn't ring as wrong, but you know, what rings as wrong is when you start bringing conflict into this thing when he really didn't misbehave. So, uh, I wish you the best of luck. I'm almost 15. I think I'm straight, but I don't know. I've fallen in love with a girl before and I'm in love right now. I know I'm in love because I get that feeling I just can't describe when I'm with her. I love girls in a sexual way too. I often think about doing stuff with them and I fantasize about it so I'm not gay. Yet sometimes I think about boys in a very sexual way. And a lot of the time I fantasize about them too. Mostly good looking boys at school I see and I think about them. I have thought that I was bi at times, but I never ever think about going all the way with a guy like I would with a girl. With a guy, that's just disgusting, and the thought of actually doing it with a guy makes me sick. Also, I could never actually love a boy like I do with a girl. I appreciate you reading this, and hope it can be on Mail Monday. Even if it's not, please respond. P.S. Please keep this anonymous. By the way, on the anonymous thing... I always do my best to keep that anonymous. I know a couple people wrote their own names in Mail Monday at this point, and I, I blank them all out and I don't read them. Uh, your anonymity means a lot to me. And certainly in a situation like this, where it could possibly bring some heat on him at school and stuff, then I go out of my way. I block out locations and stuff like that if I need to. So anonymity, anonymity, shucks, anonymity is a lot to me. All right. 
I can't tell you if you're gay. I can't. Right? That, that's something that you're going to figure out over the next like five to seven years. That's the deal. I can tell you that you're not alone. Right. That that like I, <laughs> I've heard this theory proposed before and we talked about painkiller already a long time ago that almost everybody is some percent gay. Right. Like it, it, if you're out there and you're a 17 year old guy and you've watched porn before, do you prefer to have a guy in it? Is it just sexier when when there's like a, a heterosexual thing going on there for you? Or do you prefer to be like woman on woman and just the taunt? Like, it, I think that. You know, like uh, almost every guy out there, like a straight guy is something like 95% straight or 90% straight, you know, that that they prefer this or that, you know, to, 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 that that this is getting a little raunchy. That, but, you know, the, the ending that you would see in a typical, uh, you know, XXX rated film, I'm trying to keep this clean. Um, like, you know, is that a... A hot shot you know if it is you're probably 95 percent straight you know that's that's just your deal and uh and this guy you know I, I don't want to brand him right but you know i'm reading it and i wonder like huh i wonder if he's like 70 percent or 80 percent straight and and that's just you know where he falls on the spectrum somewhere but um i do know that he's not abnormal he's not weird he's he's all right and you're gonna see a lot of comments from people who you know completely uh you know disavow the notion that they've like ever even looked at a guy and noticed whether he was attractive or not attractive that you're gonna see guys you you know like oh i've never even discovered that some guy had like you know a low body fat and and you know observed that that he was in good shape or something like it dude you're okay and um like if you do turn out to be bi because it's pretty clear that you like girls um if you do turn out to be bi then that's okay too my advice to you advice i hate to give is to keep it to yourself until college right now, i think you said you were 15 and um uh if <laughs> if this were to get out in high school I think it would make your life tougher than it needs to be. And I hate telling guys to like deny who they are until, you know, they're older because that's that's a pretty rough life to live as well. But I think just the reality of, of this, especially in like American high schools, is that you're better off keeping this on your own until you're in college, until you're with adults, until you're in a spot where the world is more ready to accept you. That's, that, that's, I think, where you are. But, you know, you, you have this question of sexual identity. My answer to you is that you are normal. You are somewhere on the spectrum of heterosexuality. And uh, you will figure out exactly where you belong over time. But, uh, you know, you're all right with me, man. I, I, you, by the way, you'd be all right if you were gay. But um, I, I don't want you to have too much stress over this because I think that the things going on in your mind actually go on in a lot of people's minds. They're just not discussing it. And, uh, and that's this week's Mail Monday. So that was Mail Monday Part 2. If you enjoyed this, you can click on subscribe in the top right or like or do whatever you want. Two videos you may have missed. The top one is my surfing mancation montage where I also put a little effort into the camera work. You can see, you know, one of my other interests. And the bottom one is Mail Monday Part 1, which is up the same day, but the video was so long as a combined effort that I had to split it into two. So uh, I hope you guys like the stuff and have a good day.